Welcome to Out of School Classroom. Today we're going to go over uh, 2021 National Math Con Competition Spring Round question number 30. This is the question. In triangle ABC, an inscribed circle is tangent to side AB at a point D. If AD is given as 20 centimeters and DB is 101 centimeters, that basically split the AB into two parts from the tangent point. What is the greatest possible integer value for the radius of the inscribed circle? So let's just take a look at the diagram first. Um, this is gonna be the triangle ABC. This is the inscribed circle. AB is split by the tangent point D into two segments, 20 and 101. So we try to find the radius, the greatest possible integer value for the radius of the circle. But we only provided the, the base side AB and split it into two segments. But uh, in that case, AC, BC can be varied. So we try to find the greatest possible in radius value for this one. So that's basically the question we have for this number 30. So we notice that this, I already um, put a few segment length over here. There's a reason for this from the, um, the vertex A, from A to the tangent point of the circle, we have the same length. Same thing from B, we have the two tangents with the same length. So both of these are 20, both of these are 101. So BD, BE 101, AD, AF 120. So the only thing we don't know is the other uh, two tangents from C, C, E, C, F, they also have the same length. So how do we find the greatest possible value of this uh, inscribed circle? Okay. So we have two ways to calculate the area of the triangle. One, if we know the side length of this triangle, for three sides of this uh, triangle, certainly we can find the area based on the Heron's formula. The other one, if we are given, pretend we're given the in radius of this, uh, this triangle. Uh, also, we know the information about the three sides. We also can find the area of the triangle. So basically for this question, we try to using the different way to find the triangle area to set up the equation between the two values of the areas. That certainly the two value of the area will be the same. So from that one, we try to find out the value of these uh, unknown tangents. Once we find the three sides, we will find out the radius, okay? So this is gonna be the main idea. The area of a triangle can be calculated in two ways. One, given the three sides, we can calculate it using Heron's formula. The other method we're gonna use in, in radius, we're gonna give you the detail in a moment. So in radius, that means the radius of the inscribed circle. Okay, so let's start working from these two direction. One, we try to calculate the area using Heron's formula. Okay, we already know the semi-parameter, okay? The, probably we need to mention a little bit about the Heron's formula, okay? For any triangle, let's say I'm gonna give in the triangle, any triangle with the silent ABC. So the area will be, we try to find the semi-parameter first. I mean, we get the parameter A plus B plus C divided by two. And then we can get the area immediately of the triangle will be semi-parameter 
multiply by s minus a, I mean the semi-parameter minus each of the sides, uh, s minus b, s minus c, and now inside the radical, and then we can find the area of the triangle. Okay, that's uh, gonna be the Heron's formula. So Heron's formula is the requirement is just uh, we need to know the side length of the triangle. Certainly, we pretend we already know the side length of the three, uh, tri the tri three sides of the triangle, but so we have only one variable x in it. That's okay. That's our goal to find out from there. Okay, uh, let's just clean this up. Okay. We can see the tangent points we're gonna do DEF. Um, we already mentioned it's gonna be three different tangents. They all have the same length for each of the tangent from the same vertex. So from B, that will be 101. From A will be 20. From C will be the one we are searching for, we're looking for. CE equal to CF. So in that case, the semi-parameter is just, uh, you know, um, you see this is double, this is double, this is double. So semi-parameter just add one of each of the tangent. X 101 and a 20, that will be X plus 121 as the semi-parameter. Okay, the parameter divided by two, semi-parameter. And then we get the triangle area, semi-parameter, uh, multiplied by S minus each of the sides, uh, minus this uh, AB, that will be minus 20 plus 101, minus BC, that will be 101 plus X, minus AC, that's uh, X plus 20. Simplify a little bit, because we already know the S equal to X plus 121, so this is X plus 121. X plus, this is a 121. So X plus 121 minus 121, that will be X. X plus 121 minus X minus X plus 101. The difference is 20. X plus 121 minus X plus 20. The difference is 101. So you get this, um, the area of the triangle, uh, leaving X as the only unknown uh, variables in the area of the triangle. That's okay. That's um, exactly the one we're looking for. Now we're gonna find in the, sep uh, div uh, this is the first uh, method using the Heron's formula. we we'll find out the, uh, the area. Um, yeah, we, we cannot just leave as it is. We have to find this out. So the, the other way we can do it using the in radius. That mean if I know the radius, in radius, let's give you the little bit of background. If I give you any, let's say I'm gonna get uh, the triangle with the inscribed circle. Uh, let's redraw this. Okay, gonna inscribe the circle, get the triangle, and then you know, draw out. So we get the tangent point right here. So we know the semi-parameter S, and then we have the area A, B, C. Let's say the side length will be A here, B here, C here for the three sides. Suddenly so we get the semi-parameter A plus B plus C divided by two. And then this is gonna be the radius R. How do you calculate the area using in radius? We get um, triangle area of ABC will be equal to semi-parameter multiplied by the in radius. Really simple. Uh, to prove this one, I think you guys already know the knowledge, but if you don't know, to prove this one very easy, you just cut the triangle into three smaller triangles. Let's say this is the O. 
you're going to cut into OAB, OBC, OAC. All these three triangles have the same height. The height is radius R. So you just do base time height divided by two, base time height divided by two. Basically, you're going to get one half of a, a times R, right? One half of a B times R, one half of a C times R. So if you put this um, R outside, one half outside, you're gonna get a half of A plus B plus C times R. And then you get the area. That will be exactly equal to semi-parameter time the in radius. So that's the second way to do the area of the triangle. In radius multiplied by semi parameter, we get the area. Because this question really is also looking for the greatest possible value of the in radius. Certainly, we are thinking about this in radius method to find the area of the triangle. So let's uh, just remove this and then write this out. So, semi parameter, we already know x plus 121. Read in radius R is the one we don't know as well. So we, from these two, that's the same triangle. We're gonna make them equal. So you get this radical equal to this one. And then we get this um, equation with the two variable, but don't worry. Um, our goal is try to find the in radius. The in radius is the one we're looking for is not exactly valid. We try to look for the maximum value of this radius as an integer value. So we don't really know the if a triangle has the integer silent, we don't really care. That's not the one we are looking for. We just try to find the integer value as the greatest value of the in radius. So we just try to solve this one and see how this guy reached the maximum value then. So let's see, square both sides. And then you will find out this will be, this is 2020, this is X, this is X plus 121, the right side X plus 121 square, R square. So suddenly we can cancel uh, one thing out, X plus 121, cancel. You leave one uh, alone, so we can easily solve this R squared. So R squared will be equal to 2020 times X over X plus 121 from here. But X certainly is the one over the tangent will be positive value, real value, may not be integer. So in that case, this is the positive, the denominator larger than the numerator, certainly this one less than one, never reach into one. So let's take a look, 44 square. We try to find out something related to this uh, 2020. Okay, how close, how, what kind of uh, perfect squares close to this value? So 1936, that's for 44 square, less than this. Right, but this one, if I do 45 squared, that will be larger than this, right? So this is already larger than this. But this guy, R squared, definitely will be less than 2020, okay? Because this one less than one. So if, if you really say, I'm gonna square root on both sides, R less than square root of 2020, that means this one value will be, you can see between 44, 20, 20, that will be between 45, 44 and 45. Okay. Um, will be larger than 40, 44 point something, right? So that means R will be less than 44 point something. So we try to find the maximum value of R as an integer value, certainly you'll find it, that will be 44 then. 
Okay. So in that case, you can see R44, we, we get the maximum value. R less than definitely cannot reach 45. Okay, when this is reached to 45, that's gonna be, you know, 20, 25, equal to 20, 20 times something less than one, that's not possible. So R at most, you can reach to 44. So we, we definitely can find such a solution for the X. Okay, from here, um, you know, from linear equation, you can definitely find it. It's uh, possible to solve it to get the value. For example, over here, that will be on um, 19, you can see this is gonna be 1936 for this 44 square. And then this one minus that one will be positive. There will be positive, certainly we get the value, the solution exists. So definitely we can find out such X. I don't really care what the X is, that will be a real number, I mean, that'll be integer value. But in this case, we verify uh, R equal to 44 is possible to get it. So the final answer will be 44. So we are done.